Hey guys, this is Dan Weatherly here. If you haven't already, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Today I'm going to be doing something slightly different. I'm going to be doing an audio video, uh, which makes a change from like abandoned videos and stuff. So yeah, basically I'm just going to be showing you my um, home audio system, my updates of it since my last video. Last video will be in the description below if you want to check that out to see what's changed. Not a lot has actually changed. So yeah, I'll just show you basically my system plus the lemonade and my car sub which is now in here because I've now got another another sub in my car um, and I'll just be doing a few sort of base tests and stuff so you can see what it's like really right so this is something different from last time I think anyway this is my um, I've cranked this up more than last time now uh, this is my surround system this is just a toy for Lee 400 it's alright um, I can't turn the sub up too much because it just clips the um, the amp and it just makes some sort of like weird noise so I keep I keep the bass on minimum I keep the volume almost maximum uh, basically because currently I'm having a problem running these from my PA amp it's not actually the PA amp but it's actually the equaliser yeah basically there's this weird like crackling issue like all the time so I just leave that off so unfortunately for now I am using the surround system for my um just my audio you know my mids and highs which which is okay, I mean it's quite clear but it's not the best, obviously there's a bit of lacking in the mid range just because these drivers are pretty small, they're about 3 inch drivers, um, so yeah that's that's really the only issue there, but um, I'm hoping to get a different equaliser soon and perhaps even another PA amp to accommodate more subs, oh and yeah you probably saw these, these are just my Z2300 subs, um, one of them is sort of half broken, which is that one there, it's making a weird weird noise I don't know uh, but this one this one still going strong one on the top here I've got my uh, 12 inch car sub here so yeah still going pretty strong it's all right I mean there's some screws in the back here I mean this is I'm just covering up the holes when I had my uh, car ramp on the back of it because otherwise it makes a weird noise and yeah really I've moved this to the corner because you get a much better bass response especially down in sort of the 40 to 50 Hertz range so yeah i'm just going to be doing a couple of bass tests to show you you know how powerful it is it is pretty powerful but i think sound sound quality wise it could be improved obviously i've got limitations here i'm hoping to get these back up and running hopefully just somehow bypass this and just have that going straight to there but still have the sub going for the equalizer because i haven't got a low pass filter and yeah you probably know what i'm doing there um, so yeah, let's get straight to the uh, bass tests. Um, so yeah guys that is pretty much it for the video uh, just a short one really just to show you the updates on my system and basically the future plans well I'm hoping to get a bigger sub 
but at the same time I definitely need to work on sound quality I need to get these up and running again or hopefully go some more some for, for some more um powerful studio monitors or even bookshelf speakers it just depends on what way I want to go really give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed if you hated it dislike it and tell me what was wrong with it because it you know helps me out you know um so yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one